Good morning. A little bit uh, overcast this morning here. It's been raining a lot. I have to be careful strategically walking through the all the puddles here on the driveway. Come back in. And I uh, want to announce a the release of a new sermon over on Rumble. It's about uh, how Satan uses witchcraft to his top uh, six witchcraft spells. How he uses the concept of witchcraft to deceive the masses. They say, I didn't know Satan was an in initiated witch. Well, he's not. Witches are initiated uh, Satanists. <laughs> they use this tactic of the devil. And that tactic is uh, to bend, shape, and change reality. That is witchcraft. Um, you come along and you uh, present a lie, a deception that lends pe or leads people into a system of belief that you can control them easier. And I believe that there are six different uh, things that line up with that, how Satan uses witchcraft. Okay, say it that way. And those six things are evolution. Um, see if I can remember them now from my study. Uh, evolution, the devil uses that. He deceives people into thinking that things are getting better. And when you can clearly see logically that things are not getting better. So you go inside here and get the, the gate thing. Uh, you know, mankind is evolving. Man is becoming... Uh, increasing in wisdom and everything else. Uh, not really. Uh, things are going to get better and better with, with time, and uh, not really. But that's one of the things that the devil uses. Another thing that the devil uses is the um, new Bible version issue, where you have people that can stand there and hold a Bible in their hands that they don't believe is, they'll call it God's Word, but they don't believe it's perfect. It's kind of a strange thing. And um, all the stuff with the uh, naturalistic textual criticism and um, a lot of other things that I cover in the study. With that, uh, pharmacopoeia would be the next one. Um, the whole concept of uh, getting you sick to make you better. Uh, let's use toxic chemicals to heal you. So... That's kind of a weird one, yeah. That's another one that's bending, shaping, and changing reality. And uh, then after that, you have organized religion, which I've, in post-production, I looked at the whole thing, and I actually spelled it wrong, <laughs> spelled the word organized wrong. My brain was on something else, I guess, but I'm not redoing the study. Um, I just have to put up with the fact that I'm not perfect. So I'm sure I'll get comments, you know, ha, oh, you messed up that word there. And, yeah, I did. But um, organized religion is another one of the things, ways that the devil bends and shapes and changes reality. Um, you go into uh, uh, these big, huge buildings and, and there's all the amazing stuff that you see and, and yet you read the New Testament and it's not there. There aren't guys walking around in robes unless they're the Pharisees and the Sadducees and the Lord rebukes them for it. But um, yeah, another big thing there. Um, <sighs> trying to think of what the next one is. But before I get back to that, let me just show you this. You can see these red berries over here. Those are red elderberries. Many people have seen the, the darker ones, like the black or almost sort of a purple elderberry, but those are red ones. And I've heard that they, while they are edible, they're, uh, if you eat the seed, I think the seed has some uh, somewhat toxic stuff in it or whatever else so it's kind of a you know you eat the fruit but not the seed and uh, you know I just there are certain wild edibles that are just not worth it to me um, it's a little bit on the dangerous side to try to mess with them and that's why I don't mess with them um, and red elderberries are one of them and the birds like them so you know I let the birds have them uh, we like to love to hear the birds singing in the trees and and uh We've seen cedar waxwing birds. They'll come and they'll eat the, the red elderberries. And that's a cedar waxwings are very interesting little birds. Sorry to go off topic here, but I'll get back to the original topic here eventually. <laughs> but cedar waxwings are neat because if there's more than one, the one bird will pick a berry and he'll 
go over to the other bird and he'll open his mouth and the other bird will take it out of his mouth. And if there's a couple of these cedar waxwings, they'll actually pass the berries on down the line, one mouth to the next, you know, until I guess the one's full and then he'll fly off and then they'll keep doing that until each one's full. And then the original picking bird, I guess he can, you know, it's finally his turn to eat one. But uh, very interesting little creatures of God, uh, the cedar waxwing I'm talking about. But, um, oh, Hollywood. Hollywood is another one of, you know, that's the big one, where the devil can bend and shape and change reality. And, uh, I mean, even from, again, I realize I'm very radical to most people, but even just from a scientific, logical standpoint, there are people that uh, the movie industry does warp their brain, and they lose touch with actual reality and um it's very dangerous so i think that that's all of the different ones i've covered but i'll leave the links to that sermon in the description box down below and also i'll make a pinned comment at the top with the link to it it's a long study it's um, a bigger study i cover a lot of scriptures that tie in with the whole thing and um and you know i wish that i could just speak the truth here on youtube I wish that I had freedom of speech, but I don't. My speech is censored here on YouTube. And that's a shame. Um, it's a shame that uh, people fear um, other thoughts and, and other ways of thinking. Uh, you know, I, I mean, obviously that there, there are some things that are dangerous when you have um, sexual predators going after children or something like that. Well, obviously you can't just let them speak. You have to censor them and whatever. There, you know, there are dangerous things. Some guy comes on and is trying to encourage violence against others or something in terms of terroristic type of stuff. I get it. I understand. You know, you can't just be completely, you know, anybody gets to say anything. There are laws, you know, you have to have rule of law, certainly. But to censor a preacher because he has a different opinion on a few things, eh, you know, um, you will answer to God for that, people of YouTube. And um, so whatever. Will the day come when YouTube uh, drops a lot of the censorship stuff and, you know, allows other thoughts on their platform? I don't know. You know, could it be that, you know, some conservatives would eventually take over YouTube? Uh, I have no idea. It would be nice. If conservatives eventually would uh, be able to buy it out or, you know, take over the head position or whatever. I'm not even sure who's the head of YouTube anymore. I know it was a Susan Wachowski or something for a while. I guess she's still in. I don't know. <laughs> Doesn't really matter. I'll do what I can to get the truth out on my channel here. Um, thank you to everybody out there that's been subscribing. I'm seeing the numbers go up on that. And, you know, I've never made that a big huge priority here on this channel but you know it is nice it's it's a good thing get the word out more you know i realize if my channel just is a tiny little thing well then they don't really let it go out that much and get to people and whatever but as the channel grows then they kind of open it up more and things so great thank you to everybody out there like i said for subscribing thank you for hitting the like button or the you know thumbs down or whatever too um so i saw a little bird fly over here i was trying to thought i'd walk back and see if i get him yeah right there he is i can't tell what you are he's up in the tree right there but this thing doesn't have a very good zoom on it but the uh, little bird right there can you sing or something you don't want to sing this morning? Okay. <laughs> doesn't want to sing. He doesn't want to be on video. I'm violating his rights right now. <laughs> so, all right. Need to get going here. You can see. I'll just show you one other thing. Showed this the other day. The uh, fireweed. You can see that one right there. That one is starting to bloom. A couple others back in here as well. This will be really neat looking here soon. So, 
And if you have never tried even chai tea or fireweed tea, even chai would be the Russian way of saying it. Um, but uh, fireweed tea, very good stuff. If you don't have it in your area, you could probably order some online or something else. Uh, very good herbal tea. So that will be it. Thank you very much for watching.